Hey guys, we're uh, back for part two of uh, the Saturday haul on uh, the flea markets and uh, also some uh, thrift stores we went to. So uh, basically, uh, we got done early with uh, the first flea market. Uh, we, we we left there at ten o'clock, so it was early still. I mean, that's that's pretty much morning almost. So we decided to go to the second uh, flea market that's around me, and that was only uh, thirty about thirty minutes away from the first one, if that. So uh, we head on over there, and uh, I must say this one's a lot better than the previous one that we went to. Um, I did not get to go through the whole thing, the whole flea market, because uh, we had a time crunch. So I was only able to scratch maybe uh, an eighth of what they had there. Uh, I did get to go to all the outdoor booths, which is where you're going to find most of the steals at, actually. So, you know, it wasn't, and that's where I did get my one good steal. I mean, honestly, that's where I got a great steal. But, uh, yeah, I didn't check out the inside too much, and I uh, didn't get to the resellers inside either. So, but there were some resellers outside, which is kind of, seems like kind of odd. Um, I mean, we're talking some ha hardcore resellers that are marked out, eye gorge and high uh, prices for games and consoles. Like $45 for uh, Xbox, and $45 for a GameCube. I mean, it's just outrageous. So, uh... The first time, I, the first uh, booth I came to that had some games was actually, uh, well, besides the sport sport games, I came across some booths, but actually some real stuff I was interested in was actually uh, Turbo Graphics 16, and you know I never heard of that system. I never seen it in a person ever um, until uh, you know Bithead 1000 mentioned. I didn't know it existed, so uh, you know I, when I when I saw it there and I read the, the console name, I'm like. You know, it got my interest, you know, Bithead 1000 is like, this is his favorite console. I'm like, man, this, this guy means something, man. He, he, this guy's played a lot of consoles. I mean, this has to have some kind of worthy, uh, some kind of uh, factor that's awesome about it. So I'm interested in it. And uh, I look over it, you know, it's got nine games inside the box. And uh, it's got uh, most of the manuals to it. Got all the connections and, like, some uh, controllers. I don't look, look at it too much in detail. You know, I didn't want to show that I was really interested in it, but uh, I asked uh, how much it was for. I'm sorry, I got allergies. But uh, I asked him how much he went for it, and uh, he said eighty dollars. And eighty dollars, I mean, I mean uh, to me, I'm thinking I can haggle him down, maybe down to sixty. But uh, eight, even sixty, it's just I'm thinking nine games, and it's gonna be really hard to find these games too. But uh, I know I passed on it. I passed, and uh, maybe I'm, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be there next week. I doubt someone's gonna buy it for eighty dollars next uh, this, you know, this past Saturday and Sunday. So, uh, you know, if it's if it's there, I'll ask for something a little bit cheaper and see how far you go. You know, I'll definitely look it over in more detail, and uh, hopefully I might be able to actually get a camcorder and record it to show you guys what it is. Um, speaking of which, I actually bought a. Uh, uh, pocket cam recorder so we're gonna have better videos now I mean I don't got nothing I didn't get no $400 freaking camcorder because it's either you got the $100 like flip phone or flip video camera or you can get the $400 freaking you know home video camera and you know what I'm just gonna go with something a little bit cheap that's gonna be able to get the job done so I went with the a, a Sony Duo but I'm getting off topic here I'm sorry guys but I'm gonna I'm, like I said I'm gonna try to get this camera going at the flea market itself, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm seeing, because um, it's definitely going to help out the story, guys, and you got you got to see some of this stuff, like a TurboGrafx-1600, or 16, you know, in the wild, you know, I think you guys probably be interested in that, so basically, uh, after I passed that one up, I went to another booth, and I swear to God, it was not even 30 feet away, another booth I went to, they had some Sega Saturn games there, uh, and it wasn't a reseller, it was just uh, some guy with a garage sale going on, basically. And I go through the games. Some are complete, complete cases. Some are just discs. Some have the disc in the and the manual. And uh, after going through, it, I noticed that you know there's like there's three or four I'm interested in. Maybe um, they were the complete ones. And so I ask him how much he wants for them. You know, and he thinks about it for a second. And then he's like, fifty cents. Fifty cents for complete Sega Saturn games. Holy shit! Um, 
even the sports games ones and the one, games I wasn't really interested in, honestly, I should have bought them all 50 cents. I mean, shit, that's like free. But uh, now I just got the three games. And uh, I picked out the three games, and I'll show you those, but I want to talk about the system itself, too. Because after I, I said I was going to pick these games, I was like, well, I got the system over there, too. And I got the Sega Saturn, but it's only the Japanese console. So I can't play these games, so I got to buy the American one. So uh, I'm going to go over there and take a look at it. And uh, it's got the light gun, too. And a controller and all the hookups. I'm like, fuck yeah. You know, even though I got the controller and light gun for the Japanese and it works together. But, you know, I like to keep it together. You know, different systems. But, uh, so I ask him how much he wants for it. He thinks about it for a second or two. And he says 25. And I go, I'll give you 24. And uh, he takes a second for it and he says... All right, that works. And uh, he said me pack it up in a bag and stuff. And then he asked me, like, you know, well, did you get a steal? He's just, he's just being honest. And I kind of talked to him for a little bit beforehand. And I know he's a nice guy. He's a good guy. And uh, I was like, you know, it, was, it wasn't a steal, but it was a good deal. It was a, it was a good deal. And uh, apparently that kind of made his day knowing that he didn't get swindled. And I honestly believe that, you know. $20 for a Sega Saturn, so that's, that's a good deal. You know, it could be... And, Really good deal, good deal, but I don't think it was a steal. A steal would be like, you know, $5 or something like that. But then again, maybe I'm just cheap. And <laughs> to me, a steal is something really cheap. Because 50 cent games, and I didn't get all of them. So that's, that's good to show you that I, I'm, I'm I'm going on the thrift uh, collecting games here. I ain't, I'm not going to try to get everything my hands on at all at once. So we're going to take the slow and easy. We're going to get some really good deals. So uh, let's show you what I got here. So the first game we got here is uh, Mortal Kombat uh, 2, and this this cart's kind of weird. Uh, I've never seen one that's like this, but uh, the cart's a little bit faded. Uh, the, the case is faded a little bit, and I was thinking, you know, I can I, I know where I can get some uh, good cases at at a Goodwill. The sports games, brand new cases though, uh, for 250 on 50% off day, and of course they're going to be there because nobody wants sports games, so. For these two other consoles, I'm going to actually probably get those cases and put these in there. Because they're, they're the exact same ones. So we got Virtual Cop here. And uh, see this case. I mean, it, it's, it's rusted. But uh, the manual on the inside is good. Um, this is in really good condition. But it's just the case is all messed up. But I can get I can get another case, you know. So we got Virtual Cop. Um, like I said, all these games I've tested... And they don't all work, and I'll explain that in a second. Um, uh, this game right here, Mass Destruction, which I'm actually kind of interested in because it looks really cool. Um, it doesn't work for some reason. I mean, well, obviously it doesn't work because it's uh, the, the disc is pretty scratched up. But I didn't think it was too terrible. I mean, I've seen worse discs play before. Um, I, I don't know, maybe it's uh, just one or two deep nicks. But I need to research on buying uh, some kind of uh, CD repair kit or something. That actually is going to work. But uh, those are the three games I bought. And uh, this game right here, Sega Rally uh, Championship. This was actually uh, in the console itself. So that was a free game. But I mean, it was 50 cents if I was going to buy it from them anyway. So it wasn't like it was a really good steal. So here it is. You can see this is the RF adapter cord. Um, it's a bit fuzzy uh, when you play it on the TV, but uh, I use the Sega Saturn one that's actually a coax on the, the uh, Japanese console and it works perfectly, so I'll do that instead. And we got the light gun here, and then we got the, the control here. And if you notice, it's got the square notch outs. Um, that's a telltale sign. This is a first generation uh, Sega Saturn. Like the first, when they first released it, this was this one. And also on this uh, console, it's got the oval, oval buttons, not circular ones. Um, so that means it's the model. Where's on here? MK dash eighty thousand. So this is like the the first one that came out in America, and it's uh, it works. It plays all the games except for that one that it couldn't play in it. It's really good. Um, even dust-wise, it uh, doesn't got too bad. You can see a little bit in the inside corners there.
but overall, I mean, it's a really nice condition uh, Sega Saturn. So, awesome steel. So, let's talk about uh, the good uh, Goodwill shopping that we did last. Um, I want to, uh, after I got home and uh, switched cars, because my, uh, my parents were going to go for a, uh, a party or whatever, so that's why I went with my mom and uh, our cousin to the thrift stores and uh, the flea market. So, uh, I went to the, the uh, thrift stores by myself to go pick up some items that I left uh, a couple of days ago because I was going to 50% off on them. And it turns out the Xbox I wanted um, for $30 it was going to be $15. I was late like by 10 minutes. I saw it there in the lady's cart that picked it up. Um, a little bit upset about that, but, you know, $15, it's a good deal, but it's not a steal. So I'm not going to be upset about that. You know, the summer is still young. And uh, I also missed out on an extension cord slash surge protector. And uh, the reason why I was really upset, upset about that is because it was like a Berkeley. And it could have fit all of my gaming systems on that one power uh, strip. I mean, it was widely spaced, a whole bunch of them. Even the old Nintendo and Sega Saturn like block adapters that take up freaking five ports when you plug them in. Yeah, I would have had one per plug. It was going to be awesome. Someone snatched that up too. So it was for fifteen dollars. I should have picked it up when I first saw it. But uh, besides that, I went back and I actually picked up this UPS system, which is like a surge protector slash battery backup slash. It also does a uh, AV, AVR, which basically makes uh, whenever you're like you know sometimes AC kicks on and your lights dim. Color brown out. Basically, the the voltage goes below 120. Well, this system basically makes sure that your voltage is always at 120. It doesn't exceed 120. It doesn't go below 120. So that's really crucial for some electronics. Um, and I know my uh, my $2,500 home theater setup that I made, that I bought and picked out, hand picked out the parts and stuff for myself. Um, I wanted to protect it. So, but they're expensive. They're like $300. So I didn't buy one because like. You know, it's only certain parts of the country are really prone to that kind of stuff. And uh, plasma TVs aren't too bad. My sound system, I hear it click every single time. So uh, it was for $50, so I waited for 50% uh, off for $25. And it turns out that this Goodwill was not the same Goodwill that the 50% off his uh, deal was going on. So it was only $50, but I still bought it, though, because it's still, it's still a deal for $50. But uh, it turns out it doesn't work. So I got to return it to get my $50 back. I made sure I could return it before I bought it if it didn't work. Uh, and I also bought a uh, PlayStation 1 there, too, for $5. And let's take a look at that right now. So you can see that's the box for the UPS system. It's the it's the 1000 series. And uh, it would have been a deal. I mean, this thing weighs 60 pounds, man. This thing's a beast. Um... But yeah, it would have been a deal if it worked. But the the PlayStation one, it does work. It's in really good condition here. It's got the one little uh, blemish over here. Otherwise, it's pretty clean. Um, and they came with the power cord too. And this is the model uh, 5501 series of this uh, PlayStation one for five dollars. So great deal. Um, I'm really happy about it. Um, I'm just going to use my PS2 cords until I find uh, some extra cords for it and that's all so I'll see you next video guys